Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing the declutter series with my highlighter collection. I absolutely love a beautiful beaming highlighter and have collected quite a few over my time on YouTube and I have two drawers full. So we're gonna go ahead and compare, contrast, swatch them and see which one should stay in the collection and which ones I can pass on to some friends or declutter out of my collection. I did have a girls night and my friends were able to come and select some of the things that they wanted to try out or maybe add into their daily routine. I will ask though that you don't request any of my used makeup. I'm not gonna ship anything to my subscribers. As well as if you love declutters and you've missed any of the videos in this current series or previous, series. There is a playlist in the drop down box that you can go and check out with short form or long form videos depending on what you're interested in. There is quite a few down there since I started my channel in 2018. But you guys before we jump into it if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications to new videos and if you like this video make sure you hit a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what stayed in the collection or which items I passed on to my friends just keep watching. Okay, we are on to the first of two drawers of highlighter. I feel like this is gonna be pretty easy cut and dry because I have some opinions on these already. And I also know that there's gonna be some people upset that I don't get rid of as many highlighters only because I love highlighter. So we're gonna start diving in. All right, the Charlotte Tilbury color wands. This is the Beauty Light Wand. Hollywood and Pillow Talk, keeping. I, I don't even know if I need to argue this. Like, I'm keeping these. Elf Halo Glow, it, drugstore dupe of the light wands from Charlotte Tilbury, keeping this one. Okay, Floss. I just got this one this year. It is in the shade Sunset. I think I really liked this one because it's kind of like a creamy, shimmery, just yumminess. So keeping that one, and we'll go ahead and do some swatches here. Too Faced just got this one. This is the Moon Crush in Shooting Star. I wanna say there's like two or three shades of this. Look how stunning that is. Ooh, look at that. These two from Cali Ray. If you have seen my videos recently, you know I absolutely love the Cali Ray highlighters. I have the shade Moonlight Beach and Starlight Beach, which cool tone, warm toned. This one is the cool, oh no, what just happened? Oh, no. You will go back in there whether you like it or not. Um, Be careful with yours if you just saw what happened to mine, but you can mash it back in there. Oh my goodness. The other thing is there's not a mirror in there, so I'm not like super upset, but why would you try and jump out? And that one was in Starlight Beach, which is the cooler shade. Like, that's barely dipping in. Look how stunning. And this one is in Moonlight Beach. So those are the two comparisons. If you want cool toned, if you want warm toned. So stunning. Fenty Beauty, this is the Kilowatt Foil in Sandcastle. Absolutely love this. It's just one of the little tiny minis. Stunning. So that one is staying. When I would travel, I would take this one and it is beautiful for inner corner, brow bone, cheeks, everywhere. All right, let me see if I can get through some of the ones that are just kind of like odds and ends. The Fenty Beauty, what is this? The how many carats diamond bomb? You know I'm not getting rid of this. Look how stunning. I will do a regular highlighter, swatch this and then put it on top and it's just like diamonds on your cheek. Keeping. Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light. I like it. Oh, do I, do I keep it? I'm torn. I think I'm going to pass this one on. It's still really beautiful. It's still just so beaming, 
but I do have this one that I just picked up for the Moon Crush. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, I'm gonna keep this one. MAC, this is the Extra Dimension in O oh Darling. I also have it in Double Gleam. These two are absolutely stunning. This one for lighter tones, this one's for deeper tones. So beautiful. They don't even compare. One is more gold, one is more light. And I love the pressing for Chinese New Year in here. I'm keeping both of them. Since we already did Fenty Diamond Balm, can I get this one out? This one is in Hollow At Me and has red in it. Look at that, you know I'm not getting rid of it. Stunning. This one from Too Faced Candlelight Glow. So beautiful. And it's just kind of like a muted down. See, I like that, but I don't know I'm, if I'm in love with it. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm actually surprised by that one. This one is Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh keeping that one see and I have to swatch because there's so many beautiful ones Kylie highlighter in winter rose this one is beautiful look at that keeping JD glow cosmetics essence pressed highlighter I absolutely love this look how stunning that is look at the divot I've made and it is still so creepy. Look at that. You know I am keeping it. In comparison to the other ones that I just swatched it on top of. Mmm. 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 Let's see. Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow. That is a mouthful. Look how stunning it is. You know I'm not gearing a Char Charlotte Tilbury. Absolutely not. Stunning. And then of course I also have this one, which is the Multi Glow. This one's not going anywhere either. And look at this beautiful packaging. Stunning. Mac, this is the Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle. I really like this one. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna run out of room. I haven't even like made it into the bulk of highlighters. MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Snow Flushed. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. I love the cranberry red shift to it. Let's see, right? There. Stunning. MAC Face Powder Opalescent in Here Comes Joy. Obviously one of the holiday releases a couple years ago. So beautiful. I don't use it in a lot of videos only because it's not available anymore, but it is still beautiful right there. I still am like JD Glow, look at that. Crazy. Odin's Eye, this is the Solomon Moonlight Feel Highlighter in Azura Shine. This one has like a blue hint to it. Look at that. Beautiful. So wet and juicy. I don't even know where to like put that. Okay, I made room for more swatches. <laughs> I have these three from ColourPop, and as much as I think I'm gonna keep them, I also think I'm probably gonna get rid of a couple. So this one is the Soul Body in Pink Truffle. Look how pretty that is. I'm in love with highlighters, you guys. Oh, stunning. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. This one is Jingle Jingle Jingle. Oh, why? See, 
They're different though. Mmm. Hold on, because I still have catwalk. They're all different. And I say that, and to you it might not look like it, but they have different undertones. There's a reason I've kept them so far. I'm gonna keep all three of them. We are on to the ones that like I had like on display kind of thing so I could just easily grab them. This one is Dose of Colors in Fuego from the Desi X Katie collection. First off, the packaging is stunning. But as much as I want to keep this, I've already swatched highlighters that I like more. I'm so surprised I'm getting rid of this. But I know that there's someone in my friend group that is going to absolutely get some love out of this. And I have so many other highlighters I'm keeping. Wow. I'm surprised I got rid of that one. This is Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in Pink Glow. Ooh. Stunning. Keeping this one. I just had this also in Tokidoki. And I did it in the giveaway. But look at the packaging also. It's stunning. Keeping. Kama Diamond Glow. This is in shade number three. I love this. So much so that I ordered it twice. And the last one ended up in the giveaway. So if you need a beautiful glittery stunning highlighter stunning absolutely look at that just came cosmetics don't sleep on them artist couture in sex pose the diamond Lux luminizer i love this look how stunning that is beautiful gleaming beaming yumminess we are on to affordable. This is Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Highlighter. I love Wet n Wild, so this one's gonna be hard. Look how stunning this is. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm probably keeping all of these. So this is the Wet n Wild in Precious Petals. Also really pretty and affordable. Like, why would I get rid of that? NYX Born to Glow. So this highlighter and then like a diamond balm equivalent to put on top of it. Stunning. Look at those. Mm. You know I'm not getting rid of it, right? So right there. And then the shimmer on top. Beautiful. Oh, for we already talked about this in the face palettes. This one is the Milk and Cookies from Steph Toms. I absolutely love this one. And it smells delicious, like milk and cookies. You got light, you got dark. The mix together is stunning. I'm keeping this one. We talked about it in the face palettes, the cookie highlighter, which was sold individually after the palettes were released from Benefit. Absolutely stunning. Keeping. Melt Cosmetics. Illumination Highlight. I want to say this is the one that has like the sugar skull. Mm, yes. Look how beautiful that is. Stunning. I need to use this more often, but like when I go to work, I don't get to use it. Revlon Skin Lights. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Amrezi. These two are stunning. Look at that. Look at that. If you can't get the Amorizi, you go and get the Revlon Skin Lights. And it looks like, like dragon scales. Beautiful. I am keeping both of those because you never know drugstore high end which one you want to use. ColourPop Villains. This one is Maleficent. I love their cream formula. Look at that. So juicy keeping it. Look at that. Stila in Kitten, the Heaven's Hue Highlighter. 
I love this and I don't want to push into it, but it's kind of like a putty highlighter and it's just so subtle and beautiful. I use this for work a lot. It's just so wet on the skin. Two from Jaclyn, I have Iced. Look at that, it is just a cream formula. Her highlighters are beautiful. I'm running out of room, you guys. And then this one in Skylight. A little bit darker than the other one. Beautiful. Keeping. And then Tarte Amazonian Clay and Sparkler. Let's see. It's pretty and I want to keep it, but at the same time, it just feels more dry than some of the other shades that I've kept. It's pretty. Mm. I think I'm going to pass this on. We have the Casper Fabulous Holographic Highlighter. This one I just used for a video. It's so pretty keeping that. Okay, Dior. Do you think I'm getting rid of this one? Look at that. This is the Backstage in Universal. So this is supposed to be blush, bronzer, and highlighters. Beautiful. Keeping liquid highlighter from Juvia's Place. You know I'm keeping this. Okay, so these are all organized together. Let's go ahead and do this first. Cover FX, this one, Custom Enhancer Palette. Ooh, see that's really pretty. You got light, dark, and pink. I'm gonna keep I'm going to keep this one. Too Faced, this is the Turn Up the Light in Shade Light. So you have in here what's supposed to be like a soft focus setting powder, kind of like the Hourglass ones. And then you have a highlighter and then the Dazzle, which is supposed to be kind of like the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Mm, look at those. So beautiful. And here's even the soft focus powder. So I'm gonna keep that one. Too Faced Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette. This one, I wanna say it smells like ice cream. Mm, it does, it smells so delicious. Look at those, you know I'm keeping this. Fantasia from One Size. This one is stunning. Look at that, so wet and juicy. And then I like the palette, and I don't know if you can really see it anymore, but there's some of the shifting of the different designs in there. It is so beautiful. ColourPop Villains, this is Hades. Mm, this one has kind of like a pink shift to it. Look at that, it's so pretty. I wanna keep this one, but I think I've kept a couple of them that just have more of a shift than this one. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Too Faced, what is this, Pinker Times Ahead. Look how stunning that is. You know I'm keeping that one. If it is beaming, it is probably staying. Look at that, right there. Flower Pyramids. Look at this. This is Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's brand. So you could, you can actually just mix a couple shades. You can mix all the shades, more pinky, more golden, lighter. Just, I'm gonna do all shades so you can kind of see. Look at that. It turns into like a blush topper. Look how stunning. But I could even do the lighter shades. I like the pyramids because you can kind of like custom blend what you want. Keeping. Too Faced, this is from Pineapple Sun. Wait, this is the bronzer. No wonder I couldn't find this. Okay, so it's got a bronzer with a topper that can be a highlighter. <laughs> I've already done bronzers. This is just kind of like a 
Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. Bronzer Highlighting Duo. Okay. So I guess it could be like a golden, but it's definitely like more bronzy than I'm putting it in the bronzer drawer. Glam Light Pina Colada. This one is beautiful. It is very light though. Oh, it's so juicy though. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. Jacqueline, this is in the shade Flurries. Why does it feel like for so oh, because this has unglued itself. Oh, I could like declutter the box. Wouldn't that be nice? I hate bulk packaging, but look how stunning the highlighter is. You know I'm keeping it, right? This one from Wet n Wild, the Hello Hail, ha the Hello Halo. This one is absolutely stunning. The After Sex Glow. You have a gold, you have a peach. I love this. Just kind of like, and this might need to go in like the face palette drawer because you have the peachy that can be a blush and then you have the gold that's a highlighter. Look at that, just absolutely stunning. Keeping. This one from Bobbi Brown in Golden Hour. Look how stunning that is. It's so pretty and wet and juicy and just all the things you could describe a highlighter with. Okay, Ofra is a hard one for me to declutter. <coughs> this is Samantha March Highlighter in Dream Chaser. Mm. It's so icy white though, like do I need? As dark as I am now, do I need an icy white highlighter? I think I'm gonna pass this on. Like, let's just be realistic. I kept the milk and cookies. Let's pass this one on. Blush stripes illuminating. Okay, so you can choose what you mix together. If you just want the purple and white, or add in the peach, or add in the copper, and then you just get a really pretty mix of them. You know I'm keeping that one. And then Pillow Talk. Oh, that one's pretty. I'm not getting rid of that one. It's just icy white with a little bit of pink. Keeping that one. I got rid of one. I'm okay with that. MAC Hyper Real Glow. This is one of my favorites. It's so pretty. I'm going to keep this palette. This one from Milani. It is the Shimmering Face Palette in Luminoso Glow. I'm torn. I want to keep this, but I just have not reached for it. And there's there's just so many shades. Like, where do you start swatching? Like, this one right here. Ooh. Stunning. Oh, see, and I thought I was going to declutter it. You know I'm not. Okay, on to the last tray in here. Profusion. I just picked this one up this year. This is Flare. Look how beautiful that is. It's so creamy. Keeping that one. Juvia's Place. If you have not picked up their powder highlighter, I have mine in the shade Cleo. This is absolutely stunning. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have these three shades. And honestly, I think I need to get rid of this one, which is the shade Snowflake. It's just, it's pale white. I'm not, I'm not using this. Since I've been tanning, like, uh, I want to keep it, but I shouldn't. I'm going to keep these two, though. So I'm keeping Vegas and So Hollywood. Let's just be realistic. These are a little bit darker. These will actually complement my skin tone right now. Keeping. Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. I love this. It's so smooth and creamy and just so luxurious for being drugstore. 
and it smells so decadent. Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. Picked this up the end of last year. It's so creamy and yummy. So keeping that one. That's in the shade Heavenly. Okay, this one's not going anywhere. This is the Jennifer Lopez and Inglot in the shade Radiant. I picked this up when I was in England. You know I'm not getting rid of it. It was the last one that they had in stock. Look how stunning that is. I don't even need to swatch it. You can just tell in the container. Becca Champagne Pop. You know this is a cult classic. As much as I want to keep it though, like... Okay, I'm keeping it. I was, I thought I was gonna be like a little more dried out. Like you haven't used it in a while. Um, let me put this on the table so I use it more often. All right, Ofra in the old containers. This is Madison Miller Moon Dance. Oh, this one's so pretty. But it is very pale. Ooh, do I get rid of it? Do I keep it? Like, mmm. I'm gonna keep it. This one is Star Island. I think I have Star Island in another, like in a palette. It's very pale though. I think I'm gonna to get rid of this one. And then Glazed, okay, Glazed Donut. This one is Nikki Tutorials collab. You know you can't get rid of this one. Like, look how icy white. And it looks good on like any skin tone. I'm gonna keep this one. Berry M Big Tri Blend Highlighter. Oh, I got this one when I was in Europe. It's beautiful. Those three mixed together, and then you go and swatch it. Just look at that. Mmm, stunning. Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the shade Molten Rose Gold. This one's stunning. Look at that. Keeping that one. And then of course the collab with Puma. This is in the shade Knockout. I'm also keeping that one. Look how like sexy that is. Yeah, you know I'm keeping it.
Okay, you guys, so that is reorganized. And now for what I got rid of from just this drawer, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of them from this drawer, and I'm actually quite surprised by some of the ones that I got rid of. I love them, they're beautiful, but let's just be realistic. I've got friends who will love to have these in their collection. Okay, you guys, we are on to the second highlighter drawer. And I'm hoping this is a little bit easier. First off, is this a blush? Okay, well, that one's misplaced, and I only realized because this <laughs> is not the back of a highlighter. So this is going to go into the blush drawer, and it is one of my favorite shades. I've been wondering where this has been. <laughs> Okay, now starting out. Some of these things, like these two right here, I just got, well, I tried them out in a video. They were one of the holiday releases from Tarte. This with two of the blushes, kind of like the dupes of Charlotte Tilbury. Really like these. I really like them when they're mixed together. This one's a little bit too dark. This one's a little too light, um, but it gives you a variety. So I am keeping these just to start off with. I have these three from She Glam. What are these? They're the Chroma Glow Bloom Liquid Highlighters. I just recently used these. They're brand new this year. They're so pretty. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. I don't know how frequently I'll use it, but the pink. And then this one has kind of, I think it's like a orangey, like cast to it. I don't know if you can really see it. I say orange, it's kind of like reddish. Do you see that? Oh, it's stunning. So I'm gonna keep these two and then this one is Stardust. I want to say this one has like a bluish purple like hue. Mm, no, this one has more of a purpley blue. This one has the pinky red and then this one has the true red. You can see all the variations. So I am keeping all three of those. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> All right, so from Rum Beauty, these I just picked up this year. I have Miss Neptune, and this was like part of a holiday release. Granted, it was already in her collection, but she did little holiday kits. This blue is so pretty. I know I have this in a palette, but it is absolutely stunning. And I do like her brand and her quality. This one is, wait, this one's Miss Mercury. And this one's more of like a champagne. Ooh, look at that. So I am gonna keep those two. RMS Beauty, also discovered them this year. This is Prosecco Fizz. I absolutely love their blushes and this is the first highlighter that I've noticed from them. Hmm. So right, oh, I don't know if you can see it right there. But I love a good champagne highlighter. These two from Moira. I have Love Struck and Reckless Love. So Reckless Love is more of a champagne shade. And then Love Struck has kind of like the pinky hue. I'm gonna keep both of those and their affordable European brand. If you have not picked up Moira, their eyeshadow palettes, their it, just everything is amazing. Let's see, Saint Lux Liquid Glow. I haven't used this. I this should honestly be in like my body glow drawer because I feel like this I would use on my shoulders and collarbone just in the spring and summer, but it is beautiful. I 
think I got this in like a subscription box. Marc Jacobs, we've been talking about that they sneaked or they just kind of like hinted at coming back as a brand, but I haven't seen Marc Jacobs Beauty again. This one is Guilty. I love the cherries on it. Look how stunning that is. It's so buttery smooth. This is a little bit darker, especially for in the summer when I have that good tan. Oh, look at that. So keeping that one. This was a holiday release. I love the packaging on this. This one is Showstopper. I wanna say this has like pink glitter in it. Oh yeah. Mm, absolutely stunning. I'm going to keep that one as well. This one from ColourPop. Light stick in the shade On a Streak. Let's see. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. And it's so creamy. Look at that. The way it blends out. Yeah, I'm keeping that one too. Highlighters are probably the hardest thing for me to get rid of, but if they're dry and kind of like crumbly, I'm not going to keep them. Oh, I found another She Glam. Wait, is there another one? All right, so this one is the shade Tea Cake. I also like that they put the expiration date on it, so this doesn't expire until 2025. Wherever we have room is where highlighter is going to go in this swatch. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Keeping that up. This one from Kaja also has the expiration date, expires in 2026. This is the Viva Shine. So you've got the super glittery, crumbly. You have... I want to say this one is also kind of like that, but this one's more glittery. And then this is the one that I actually wear to work. See, look how stunning that is. And then you can go in if they want to open up again. Then you got like the pearl on top. And then you've got the glitter. <laughs> so three different variations of what you could do for your highlight that day. So step one, step two, and then step three. Look at that. This is also sold at Sephora if you're looking for it. And even after swatched. <laughs> Fenty Beauty, this is the Liquid Kilowatt Hustla Baby 2.0. I picked this up, not this year, I wanna say it was last year. It's just kind of like a gel-like formula. Oh, did I need to highlight my knuckle like that? No. <laughs> you know I'm gonna keep it though. It's just so wet and glossy. That'll be perfect for the summer. Loose glitter from, or loose glitter, loose highlighter from Kylie. This is in the shade Santorini. When I started my channel, this was always in my inner corner, my brow bone. It's so light and icy. And that might be the issue is that it's so light and icy. Let me see. Oh, it's so pretty though. Let's see, we'll do it right here. No, that actually might still be, like, it still picks up the undertones. Ugh. And see, she reformulated, but I haven't seen a loose highlighter in her collection again, so I'm going to hold on to that for right now. Another loose highlighter. These ones are from ColourPop. This one is in In The Groove. Kind of has, like, a pinky to gold shift. I don't know that I need to swatch it because you can see it in the lid. I absolutely love these. 
I need to reach for them more. I always forget about this drawer and I need to pick from here more than the first drawer. And then this one is Chisme. I want it, I forgot what collaboration this was. Uh, Becky G. Sorry, I was trying to read the cursive. And this one is a little bit darker so I can wear this one in the summer. So I'm keeping that as well. While we're on loose highlighters, this one, when I started my channel, was a cult favorite. This is Wet n Wild I'm So Lit. If you have never seen this before or haven't tried it, and look how much product is in there, you guys. I have barely made a dent. It is so stunning. Look at that. I'm keeping it. Even their pressed highlighters are really good. These two from Jacqueline. This one is Light Show and All Lit Up. Very beautiful, very glittery. But I'll usually do a highlighter and then put these on top if I want them glittery or I will put them on my shoulders, like, especially because I have a couple winter events. Then this one's got like a pinky tone to it. So keeping both of those. These were her holiday release three years ago. All right. I still have some loose highlighters right here. These ones are from, so I've got two from Artist Couture and then Cover FX. This one is Illuminati. Absolutely love this. This is one of my first like loose highlighters I ever purchased outside of like I was a die hard Becca Cosmetics champagne glow, champagne pop, it was champagne pop. And then I found this one and I was absolutely in love with it. It can be messy. That's why there's the protector and it's still, even with the sifter, has a mess. And then Rose, this one. Oh, look at that. I don't even need to swatch it. You guys know these are staying in my collection. And then Cover FX, this one actually has three different. So when you're looking at it, there's Rose Gold, Celestial, and Moonlight. I absolutely love having this because it gives you a variety. You can mix and match, make your little highlighter cocktail. They are so gorgeous. So keeping that. I think that is all the loose glitters now. Um, <laughs> I do have these three cream sticks. So I have Anastasia Beverly Hills in pink diamond. It's not even pink. Let's see. Ooh, look how pretty that is though. It is very pale. This is more of a brow bone and inner corner highlight. It does have some gold glitter. Very beautiful though. Luxaza in 03. This one is really pretty. I partnered with them this year and they are found on Amazon. It is kind of subtle though. And as much as I like it, I mean, it's buildable. Mm, I'm gonna keep it. I do like it though. Definitely one of those that I'll put on like my shoulder or my collarbone. And then Merit. Okay, I love Merit. This one is in Kava. I have had it for a while, so I I'm kind of concerned that it might be dried out, but we'll see. We will swatch it and find out. But look how beautiful that is. All right. Oh, it is still creamy and juicy. Look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, absolutely stunning. If you have not tried Merit, they are a beauty brand at Sephora. They sent this to me as part of my partnership with them two Christmases ago. Love this. And then we have Physician's Formula. I think this is like the last cream liquid highlighter. Well, liquid. Um, this is the Butter Glow in, the shade name is Glow. 
also like the hole is so freaking big and I'm like, who needs that much product to come out? But right there, oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Another one that's great for just like shining up wherever you need or on the cheeks. Love that. Okay, now to dive in to the remainder. I think I cleared out quite a bit of like liquids and loose. So now I've got my ColourPop and there's quite a few. I do feel like some of these might be dried out because I have had them for a while. This one is Goody Two Shoe. This was from the Mulan collab, Mulan collection. So this is from 2020, it's 2023. Oh my goodness, it's still so creamy. Look at, oh my goodness. If you keep your highlighters or your just super shock shadows, cream highlighters, any of those from ColourPop, close tightly, they will stay super creamy, even past when you think they've dried out. Look at that, I'm keeping it. This one is A Smile and a Song. This was the Disney collab, their first one. This one has to be dried out and it's not. What the heck you guys? Oh my goodness. Take care of your cream products from ColourPop. Part of your world. This was also the Disney designer collection. This one is pinky toned. Oh. I'm keeping that one as well. Look how wet and juicy that looks. I love their Super Shock highlighters. All right, so I have two gold and a pink tone. <laughs> this one is Flute Punch. Don't remember the collab for this or collection. They have so many, but look how stunning. Oh, it's so creamy. Okay. I kind of like this one more than I like this one. And this one's older, so A Smile and a Song is gonna go and I'm gonna keep Flute Punch, which is newer. Flexitarian, I have had this for so, so long. This was a recommendation from, I am blanking, Kathleen Lights. This was a recommendation by Kathleen Lights. It is so gorgeous, like silvery, icy. I've had this for so long. How is it still so creamy and buttery smooth? Oh my goodness, look at that. On the cusp. This was part of a Kathleen Lights collaboration. I'm keeping that one. It's more champagne than gold. Yeah, keeping that one. Silly Old Bear from Winnie the Pooh. Oh, so pretty. This one's more of a like champagne gold. Look at that. All right, so this one's champagne gold. I just kept this one, which is a little bit darker. And then on the cusp, was it on the cusp? Yes which is more champagne. So I'm keeping those ones so far. This is why we're swatching so I can compare and be realistic. Happy thoughts. This was the Tinkerbell one. Oh, this one's a deeper pink. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna have an excuse for every single one of these. <laughs> but look at that. So the pinky one is right here and this one, look at that, pinky gold. We're gonna keep that. And the last <laughs> Super Shock highlighter is Chiffon. Okay, this is more of a like Super Shock blush. Oh, it's drying up, but it's still creamy, why? Like. Why are you so good? Look at that. You, you guys know I'm keeping it right. Even though it's looking like it's drying up, it's still creamy. Like what the heck? 
from Natasha Denona. We have the Diamond and Glow. Mm, look at that. So this is kind of like a cream to powder. I love that. And then you have the diamonds for on top. Let's see, we're gonna swatch it right there. And then we're gonna put the diamonds right there on top. Look at that, stunning. You know I'm not getting rid of Natasha Denona. We have four from Kylie. So Kylie, the Grinch in the shade Littlest of Who's. Okay, this one, if I remember correctly, has like a green hue. Oh, look at that. Keeping. I don't know that I need it, but I also don't have it unless it's in one of these like palettes. Oh, stunning. Coco by Kylie. This is in the shade True Mama. Look at this. Kind of icy and silvery. It does have gold glitter in it. Keeping. This is now her new formula. This one is Ice Me Out. And I had this in like the original formulation. I know I got rid of that one. So I know I'm keeping this one. It is Nice and sh like icy white, obviously ice me out. I probably need more of a gold toned or champagne toned, but it is really pretty and it's great for inner corner and brow bone. This was her collab with Stassi. This is in the shade Bestie Energy. This is more of that champagne that I keep. Look how stunning that is. So there's that champagne is why I haven't bought another why is it not focusing right there so champagne this was ice me out that's probably why i haven't bought another highlighter from kylie from ColourPop, this was the disney De designer collection so they had the first release which is why you had the super shock highlighters this is the second one when they did the like masquerade ball and the artwork is so beautiful all right this one is kissing a frog this is a blush. This one's going in the blush drawer. I'm gonna keep it. This is also a blush. Court of Miracles, also keeping. And I've already decluttered the blushes, you guys. This is the highlighter. So this is Andalasia. Look at that. Mm. That is stunning. This is the highlighter Horse and Carriage. So icy. Now, there is a difference. So these are the powders from ColourPop and then these are the Super Shock highlighters from ColourPop. They're still icy, but the Super Shocks are just so juicy and wet looking. I don't know if you can tell the difference. And they, they just like blend into your skin. Okay, Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. This is the shade. Um, Incandescent Gold 002. Oh, look at that, it's stunning. So the pressing is phenomenal, but the packaging is just kind of like, it's underwhelming to me, but it is what it is. It is also very heavy packaging. So stunning. I need to reach for this more. Look at that. You guys see? I don't know if it's doing it justice. Pure and Barbie. <laughs> this is Dream Glow. First off, the packaging, absolutely stunning. And then you have three different shades. So you can deepen it up you can just keep it pinky and then you can keep it pretty icy so I usually do those two shades where it's like a pinky silver and then if you want the gold it's those two so obviously I'm keeping it from Jacqueline this is iced 
Love her highlighters. Beautiful. If it makes me look like I should be a disco ball or in a ballroom, like I'm keeping it. ColourPop, this is Flip Flop. This is a different Super Shock highlighter. Still very creamy. Oh, I already wiped them off, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I have a similar shade, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It just, it, I shouldn't keep all the gold shades when I have so many. I say that as I keep them in other brands. So Sigma, this is the highlighter in Savannah. Got a lot of use when I first purchased it. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. These two from Kaleidos. I have Star Surfer and Ray Rider. I got one that, I think it's Ray Rider. That's more of a like normal every day for me because I have to have something for work. Ooh. And then Star Surfer has kind of a like pinky hue. Ooh, look at that. So it's not necessarily an every day because of work, but it's something I can do after work love their highlighters their packaging is kind of clunky though this is very reminiscent of sorry this is very reminiscent of the benefit blush packaging just saying patrick star from mac this is baby it's gold outside this is absolutely stunning and look how freaking big it is it doesn't matter how much i use this i use it on my shoulders i use it on my uh collarbones just all over it's still there it is a baked highlighter look at that it just glistens mm. even when i was like more fair toned this was still beautiful on the skin so i'm not getting rid of it i'm trying to get rid of my single highlighters first before i go into my palettes all right so araceli tequila highlighter in the shade Blanco. I got this in a subscription box. I think I've only swatched it, never used it. It's pretty, I just, I feel like, mm, I don't know. Is it as gorgeous as some of the other ones that I have? I don't think it is. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Like, it's pretty, it's just, mm. Barbie in ColourPop in the shade Beach Party. First off, like it's as big as my hand. Look at that. Okay. Let's see, where do I have a spot to swatch? I'm gonna keep that. ColourPop Your Catch. Oh, so icy white. I don't think I kept any of my icy white ones. That's so pretty. Keeping. Soul Body in Pretty Peachy. Ah, uh, okay. It's so pretty, but I don't know, like, do I need it? It could be like a blush topper. Not necessarily a highlighter. I'm gonna keep it. And this was from the Hocus Pocus collab. I think it was the second one, not the first one. This is, yep, Hocus Pocus 2. Find the book, Shimmering Body Powder. Oh, this one is <laughs> like bluish green. Look at that. You know it's not going anywhere. Okay, yeah, keeping. Okay, so on to Glam Light Hershey's Cookies and Cream Highlighter. Um, I don't remember. Like, I like the formula. They're pretty. Oh, they are really, like, icy. See, and I thought I was about to get rid of them. 
you know I'm keeping those. They're stunning. Okay, these are just the palettes right here. So ColourPop, we have a Crush on You, the Super Shock Highlighters. Okay, um, I'll swatch them, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of this palette because I have the individuals and I like the individuals because I don't always need a full highlighter palette. Look how stunning those are. And they're still creamy. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna pass that one on. Dream Sequence from ColourPop. Okay, I might keep these because look how glittery and like there's duo shifts in these. So. Yep, especially like this one, look at that. Okay, keeping Dream Sequence. Beauty Bay, living my best light. This highlighter palette, super affordable, absolutely stunning. I'm not getting rid of this. I can tell you that right now. Look at those highlighters. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. I know I got this in a subscription box. I just don't seem to like reach for it. Get those shades though. Let's see. They're stunning though. Look at those. Absolutely stunning. Let me see. I'm running out of room, you guys. Okay, yep. I'm gonna end up keeping that one too. Jeffree Star Northern Lights. It, it's it's so clunky, but this is some of the like different colored highlighters that I reach for, and I've done. I think I used Below Freeze and Alaskan Ice for one of my like. Like it wasn't a holiday party. It was a birthday party that had a theme. Um. I know I don't need to keep below freeze, but these shades. Oh, they're so stunning though. So I'm going to keep it. No matter what your thoughts are on him as a person, you cannot deny the quality of his makeup. Mac, this is the Star Dipped Face Compact in Light. There's two extra dimension blushes, two extra dimension skin finish powders. Oh, maybe this is supposed to be in my face palette drawer. It is. Um, and I'm going to keep them. So I do really like the blushes and the highlighters are different. So I'm going to keep the palette after I swatch the highlighters for you guys. Look at that. But this is supposed to be in this drawer up here. Ace Beauty Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. Look how stunning that is. I don't even know where to start because they're so stunning. I love glowing, poppin', radiant, and gleaming. Look at those. Yep, keeping those. And we'll swatch right here, 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 and here. Beautiful. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I think, oh, I have one more Jeffree Star, and the rest are Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's do that first. So Platinum Ice from Jeffree Star. This is the Skin Frost Pro. And I wanna say, so this palette, no, it's the Frost Pros that he puts in palettes. Never mind. But I do like how compact this is. Like, it is very much smaller look at those shades i don't know that i need all of them let's let's swatch and see i think the other ones are much different
Mm, they're very icy silvery. I think I'm gonna get rid of this palette and keep the other one that has a bunch of the different like fun shades. Yeah, they're very icy and I just, ah, uh, I don't know. Do Am I gonna need these for like an icy? Uh, you guys, I lied. I'm gonna hold on to it. I never know when I'm gonna need an icy silver highlighter effect. It is what it is. All right, now the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So Aurora, this one I think I picked up at TJ Maxx. Okay, see, I really like these and I've used this one as well as Moonchild for fun, like different shades. So I am gonna keep both of these. Um, let me go ahead and swatch a couple of these. Actually, I could keep this and get rid of the Jeffree Star one because I have the like Icy Galactic. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, this one is going away. And I'm keeping the Aurora from Anastasia. Yep, there you go. That's why you swatch. And then Moonchild. So I've done the Purple Horseshoe and Blue Ice together. See, and I've got more of the icy tones. Got it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Those are all Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero, the glow kit. This one, beautiful. And I want to say when they released this, they said it was like a re-release. Look at how beautiful those are. These are like everyday tones that I use. I would do Forever Young uh, and 143. I can't use Glow Gitter because of the glitter that's in here um, and Kitty Cat because they have some chunky glitter, but they are stunning. That was absolutely beautiful. And then last but not least, the Anastasia Glow Kit. These are darker tones, which I appreciate, especially in the summer. Look how beautiful those are. So the lightest one, which is white sand, then sun ray, amber gold, and hot sand. The variations, especially, wow, it does not want to focus. Look at that. It's going off of temperature. What? Those are absolutely stunning though. Okay, so I figured out why it wasn't adjusting. Uh, it is hot in the house because we have the heat on for the winter and the fan wasn't on in my beauty room, so the camera was overheating. Those are the last shades for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Look how stunning those are. Now to put everything back.
And that is how everything fits. Now, on top of the eight highlighters I had previously decluttered, I also decluttered one, two, three, four, five. So a total of 13 highlighters decluttered. Oh my goodness, you guys, that was so many highlighters. And I know it's way more than any one person should have in their collection, but I have done this for quite some time. And this year, I definitely tried to just tone it down a little bit for what I picked up. I only picked up the things that I really, really wanted to try out. Now, you guys, we did get rid of 13 highlighters. That doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, it is quite a few and I know that I do also need to go ahead and try out some more that are still in my collection and the next time I do a declutter have a better idea of what I want to get rid of. I love trying out new makeup and that definitely will not stop but it does feel good to just kind of thin it out a little bit. 13 doesn't seem like a lot but for someone who picked each of these items up themselves it is a difficult task to try and get rid of items that I may or may not want to keep. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.